Okay. The first time I met Roy Houston no, I can't was watch the TV. Okay, go ahead. The first time I met Roy Houston was at the Showman's Convention in Chicago, Illinois in uh, 1967. 1966 it would have been. And uh, no, it wasn't, excuse me. It was in yeah, 66. And um, he was there with Bill Cyrus, who was a, another magician, and uh, and Chris was, uh, that was his first convention, I think it was only my second, and uh, they uh, went out and went to the Magic Circle one, I don't remember if it was in the afternoon or at night, and uh, which was a meeting of all the local magicians. And so also at that convention, I got to meet Jay Marshall, who was one of the better known musicians. But Roy was just a young guy, but he already had a world of experience. Because uh, when he was just a little boy, and his mother was a dancer, and he had been taught how to dance and was a tap dancer. And then his father taught him how to play drums, and then he went even to professional school for both the dancing and drumming, and uh, he became probably the best circus drummer because uh, a drummer in, we'll say, a symphony orchestra has to be good. They have to be able to read the music, but all they have to do is read the music and keep an eye on the conductor. In a circus band, you have to catch the cues that aren't written on anything. If you've got a juggler out there, every time the juggler throws something up in the air and the drummer has to go broop and catch it too, you know, and uh, also read the, the music and follow the, the band. And, uh, and so he has to watch the conductor, the music, and the act, which is not easy to do, but Roy was terrific at that. He was a wonderful circus drummer. and uh, But his main thing, of course, was as a magician. And uh, in 1981, the winter of 81-82, we took out a show called The Cavalcade of Magic. And uh, Roy, well, I'm getting ahead of my story. In 1981, we put together a show under a tent. It was a stage show for the Ohio State Fair called Wondercade. And Roy did that show. We did, I don't know, there's probably at least eight or ten illusions in that show. Chris would remember more about that than I. But he was the star of that show. And uh, that winter then, we took the same show out without the musical numbers, without the, the chorus line and so on. And it was just a magic show and called Cavalcade of, of Magic. And then the following year, the largest illusion show, I think, that ever traveled in America, we had under a circus big top, and Roy was the star of that show. And uh, he uh, always did a, a great job. And when he uh, made his initial appearance, and he did something that I always appreciated, when he did his initial appearance in a show, he came out and white tie and tails, and with the Inverness cape, because that is what people believe a magician should look like. And if you want to have a magician in a leather jacket and a t-shirt, that might be okay in a special number, but you've already established that this man is something special. He is a magician. And Roy carried that, that ambiance through so well and uh, certainly I will miss him because he's also a great friend personally and lived right next door to us and uh, we used to go over and uh, he was a great race fan and when uh, we something like the the Indianapolis 500 would be going on and and Yuka would have a little cookout and, and I'd always go over there and, and stay for a while and watch the races and and enjoy their company. And uh, always uh, on Roy's birthday, they had a party, and and, and uh, he'd come over to our house. We'd go over to his, you know. Diana said something about a 50 again party? Oh, yes. Uh, the first birthday party I remember was his 50th birthday. 
And so then every year after that, I used to kid him, well, here's the 50 again birthday party. You know. So how old? I'm not he? sure how old Roy was now. 68. But Chris can tell you that. So. 68. He would have been 69. Is it true that he was the first um, musician to do it, it, illusions in the circus? No. No, no, no. The, he was the first uh, one to do five rings for Paul K. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did a five ring display uh, okay. in the circus. But uh, there were magicians in circuses a hundred years ago. Okay. 